Dear brothers and sisters, this is Christopher. In this video, I want to share with you a dream that I had on the 9th of October, 2018. In this dream, um, I was at my workplace and uh, things had gotten very weird and strange and evil in the world. I believe that it, the tribulation was beginning or had begun. And um, I was at work. I noticed that I had survival items in my car so to share that with you um, that it may be a good idea to keep emergency preparedness items in your car um, or in a place that you can quickly access so then uh, it was like um, dark powers had, had um, like demonic forces were already over the earth in terms of spiritually i didn't see them physically at, at that point and um so there was some weird ceremony going on at work and um these people were there that don't work there but there was all these weird people there and um they were um initiating people or doing some weird ceremony with people and then it came to my turn and they were asking questions about me and um, one of them, he made the triple uh, six hand sign, the A-OK -okay hand sign, but it's, it's really the triple six hand sign. Um, so there are people who know what that means and they use it, and there are people who don't know what that means and they use it. Um, it's not something that we should do if we can help it. And um, so anyway, he looked at me very oddly and I knew he was evil and he... Um, did that hand sign in front of his eye and he did it like three times like gesturing at me and I was like uh oh uh, this isn't good um, and um, I began to flee because I, I felt like I was just surrounded by the enemy or that had invaded these people or I don't know what was going on exactly and then this uh, this woman attacked me and she was like a demon woman and I was trying to fight her back, um, fight her off me to defend physically and physical hits weren't doing anything to her. And I tried rebuking her in Jesus name and it didn't work. And, um, I tried casting her out in Jesus name and it didn't work. And then she said something strange, which I haven't heard before. She said, it's not going to work because I'm not all evil. Um, so I'll talk about that. But then um, she attacked me and I couldn't escape, couldn't escape her for some reason. Um, she was demonically enhanced and um, I began to pray to Jesus for deliverance. And I heard her um, attacking me. She was gripping my side like they, they have done to me in, in many dreams before, like gripping my side, which causes like all this organ pain. And as I was praying to Jesus for deliverance um, and telling the Lord that I loved him, the pain subsided and I knew that the Lord protected me and she had to flee. But of my own, I could not cast her out. I could not rebuke her in the name of Jesus. It did not work. Um, it, it has worked on many things before. It's worked on giants. It's worked on various types of demons. It did not work on her. And she gave an explanation for that. And um, I'll quickly mention that she said that she wasn't all evil so that it wouldn't work. So the only way I can think that working is if they, some type of like split personality or something like that, some type of um, possession or partial possession or something where the person wasn't fully removed. Um, so just be aware of that. Praying to Jesus for deliverance and focusing on your love for Jesus is the highest level of protection that I've experienced in any of my dreams. That is what has always worked in my dreams. You may not be able to battle them, but by praying and seeking Jesus, he will protect you from them. And that's what happened in this one. So then I, uh, I ran... I was able to escape because Jesus protected me and caused that demon to uh, flee. 
she had a name. It was uh, someone the blade. So um, yeah, like uh, they give themselves names like that. And so anyway, um, then I woke up, but I was still dreaming, and I was in in um, in my room, and I noticed there was a uh, a box of tissues like stuck on the ceiling like held up there with like by something and then it dropped dropped down so i knew like uh it was like a demonic attack or there was demonic spirits around or whatever and then i saw that everything was completely dark outside and it, it wasn't meant to be dark and i went outside and i was with my friend and I knew that it was like something was different. This was like the darkness that I've heard different people talk about. I've never had a dream about it until now, until that time. So everything was completely dark. And um, actually, I've had something similar to that. I wasn't sure if it was that darkness, but I think it was. I described it in another video about um, I was on my property and it was dark outside. And there was demons outside. Yeah, outside, like in the, in the flesh. And out, my flashlight started like not having proper strength and it wasn't working very well. So I went inside and we lit a candle. And uh, my friend, he lit the candle with his finger. And I think that was symbolic of uh, the light that is within us will be the light of protection, the light of God's spirit will be our protection in the darkness so so yeah i did have something about that but then this is another one so this is a confirmation so then everything was black outside and then this i saw a huge demon um if you've seen the first lord of the rings i think it's the first one that balrog demon that um, giant flaming one with wings and a whip yeah, it was that. So I think a lot of the demons they they portray in movies are real, like real demons, um, and they're portraying them to us for various reasons. So anyway, um, I saw that demon, and the Lord strengthened me and my friend with power, and we fought that demon and we defeated it. I don't know how we did it. I didn't see the specifics, but we fought it with power. And I don't know what happened and then we were running through through like the darkness but we could see and um we were like climbing over trees and jumping it was like we were strengthened we had more power in the, our physical bodies and we could see far in the distance and also god gave us the power to see what our enemies could see and yeah so that was interesting we were going somewhere for for the purpose of the Lord. I don't know what it was. All right, and then okay, and then um, and then I went back to and then I woke up and then later in that night I had another dream and in this dream I was like a younger person. And I was with my friend again. She was younger. And I saw that things were getting dark outside during the day. And it felt very odd, very wrong, like something's very wrong. And I was scrambling to buy lights. And I went into like what seemed like a $2 shop or a convenient, like a like a shop like that. And I was like, I was looking primarily, I was like looking for batteries. I was like, where are the batteries? And I could not find any batteries. So I think that's something. And, um, and then I was grabbing torches and I was trying to find the torches, the right torches to go with the batteries, but I had no batteries. So I ended up getting like crank torches, torches that you rotate and then they turn on. And I was delaying and I knew I had this like sense in my spirit, this urgency, like hurry, 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 hurry. And, um, 
then like we I have it's like arms full of stuff just running outside of the store as the night the sky was getting grad like more and more dark but it was like a it was a different kind of darkness it was very very like black um something else it was something else and you will definitely know i believe that something's wrong and we went we ran and there was this place that i knew that we were meant to go and it was a small house with one room that's all it was and it was like maybe 10 meters by 10 meters and um it was a brick house and we went over to it and there was a row of houses and ours was the last in the row and as we were running over to the house, I saw this woman with a child and she looked frantic and um, desperate and and I was just def trying to get into this house because it was about to go dark and I knew it was incredibly dangerous to be outside. And as, as I was like going to the home that was ours to go into, our refuge, um, the woman looked at us and saw as we, that we were entering a place of shelter and with her child maybe like um maybe around like five years old or something um we were like teenagers in the dream maybe like 15 years old i was in the dream and um my friend was about that as well and when she saw us heading for the for the house she she ran ahead of us and was like no that's mine and she said that and um uh it wasn't hers like she had nothing to do with it but she was just trying to like claim it when she saw us going to it and i the dream like started ending and i heard this voice like clearly saying wormwood is coming now um in the past, I have looked into Planet X and Nibiru and that topic for a very long time. And I'm well aware of uh, the information regarding that. Um, and I don't know what Wormwood is. I don't know what it is. The Lord hasn't shown me that in particular. I do believe that the Earth is flat and that we have a firmament above us. And that we are in uh, a contained system by the Lord as he created it according to the word of the Bible and according to how the Lord has led me. But I don't know what Wormwood is. I don't know if it's some spiritual thing. I don't know what it is, or where it's come from. So in the Bible, it says it will cause the waters to be bitter or a part of them to be bitter. It doesn't say much about it doesn't say too much about it but in this dream it was showing me that wormwood was associated with this darkness that is coming and this is an evil darkness that you must be indoors you must be hidden you must be sheltered because demons will be outside like demonic excuse me demonic forces will be outside so as this woman was rushing to um, beat us to the place we were going to um, I became, I was like, I was angry by that. And, um, as the dream was ending, I heard that Wormwood is coming. And then I got in to the home, opened the door, got in with my friend. And then she came in as well. And then I like kicked her out. I like pushed her out and shut the door. And then I sat there and then the dream like started getting, it started getting like dark and black and then like the dream ended and I was like I was thinking about it I was like wait a minute I shouldn't have done that and then I was like thinking how I'd, I'd try to open the door again and try to see if she was there and try to let her in so um I felt bad about that but it wasn't like a real strong conviction in the spirit that I have felt about other dreams where I've clearly done something wrong so I don't know if there was something strange about this, but I did feel that I needed to uh, definitely show compassion. This was a woman and a child. Um, I was young in the dream, so um, I'm not who I am now. But 
I think that it was showing me that in our haste and as Christians that we do need to help others. We need to need to love others and how we treat the least is how we treat the Lord Jesus. And if he sends someone to us, if we receive them, we receive him. So I believe that by me um, kicking out this woman and her child, I did something very wrong. So even though she tried to take our place of refuge out of a selfish act, um, it was for her child like a preservation, a safety desire. So um, I should not have like held that against her. I should have allowed her to come into the refuge. So just be aware of that. If um, there's the people you can help and you feel led by the Lord, then do it. If the Lord is giving you a warning to not do anything or not be have anything to do with them, then you follow that warning because uh, the enemy is very tricky. They're very deceptive. Now, it wasn't dark yet. It wasn't fully dark. I've heard from others that, and from what I've experienced, like once you have been... Uh, you have, once you have gone in and it is dark, you do not let anyone else inside, even if it seems like there's someone you know outside, because I do believe that there will be demonic forces outside and they can pretend to be people that you know. So be aware of that. Um, and you will want to be praying inside. So this dream showed that um, I was after batteries and I was after flashlights. And um, I didn't have candles in this dream, but in the previous dream that I had, candles worked well, the light from a candle. But that may have been symbolic for the light of the Holy Spirit that is within us who believe in Jesus Christ and who follow him. So I do believe that he is our protection. He is our deliverer. And seek our Lord in Jesus' name, and you will be delivered and protected. But... This darkness is something very real. It's now been confirmed to me by three dreams. Um, it has something to do with Wormwood. I don't have full understanding on that yet, but I know it's not good. I know there will be demonic forces out during that time. I know it will be very dangerous, and I know you need to stay indoors, and uh, you need to be in prayer. You need to quickly get into those shelters when the time comes and to not leave and um, until you feel led until you get led by the spirit to leave or until things are like light again I don't know how long the darkness will go for I haven't been shown a time so yeah I'll mention that and also don't lose your compassion and don't lose your love in haste to protect your own lives that is something that we need to be aware of and I think the Lord was showing me that so that I could share this as a message to others that we need to remember who we are, that we have Christ in us. We're not to be like the world, but at the same time, um, we need to be wise because the enemy is cunning. So please seek the Lord about this, and I recommend that you prepare. I have went and bought candles. I have went and bought lights, extra batteries. I have um, purchased some water to be at home and um, some food that can be eaten easily. I recommend that you do all of these things because this is a very real thing that's coming and I don't know if there's going to be much of any notice. In the dream, things just began to get dark and it was a demonic dark and I knew it was something was wrong and I knew to quickly go and get try to get lights. So I believe that if there is going to be demonic forces outside, there was going to be plenty of demonic forces in the spiritual. And we may be under heavy attack during that time. That is where having light may be important inside our homes. And, um, but Jesus is our light and the spirit of God is our light. So remember that Jesus can deliver us from anything that the enemy can throw at us. Just focus on him and your love for him. So I love you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you for listening to me. I hope for the best for you and your families. May God bless you, Christopher.